Hello, Jason here from Septic Tank TV and welcome to another live broadcast. All right. So in today's live broadcast, I'm going to be answering the question, what is a three chamber septic tank? So what is a three chamber septic tank, right? And how does a three chamber septic tank work? Well, let me show you. All right. So this green line here is the grass and you've got three lids all right so now if i number put a number above each lid each number there represents a chamber all right so maybe you've owned a septic tank with one chamber maybe you've owned a septic tank with two chambers and maybe if you're lucky enough right you own or have owned a three chamber septic tank now What's unusual about a two or three chamber septic tank is this. Most septic tanks, especially today, have only got one chamber, all right? But go back 50, 60 years ago, and most septic tanks had two or three chambers. All right, so that is what a three chamber septic tank is. It's basically um, a concrete, or a brick built underground tank and inside it, it has got brick or concrete or breeze block partitions all right so it would have been one big tank and then they just divide it into two or three sections so that's what um, a three chamber septic tank is so how does a three chamber septic tank work well let me show you so here we've got the inlet so this inlet pipe here is uh, connected to your house, right? So you go to the loo, you use your washing machine, uh, you flush your loo, you have a shower, you have a bath, and all the wastewater will come down this pipe, all right? And then it empties into the first chamber here, all right? So there you go. So that is <laughs> the first chamber full of water. Now, wastewater, unfortunately, doesn't just contain water. There's other debris in wastewater, all right? So after you've been for a number two, or maybe you've um, pulled the plug out of the sink, there's lots of debris in that water, potato peelings, you know, fat, grease, and sludge. And all that fat and grease and the sludge, right, is floating around in the water so when the wastewater leaves your house and empties the septic tank here you've got all this debris right that lives and floats in the water now this debris is called suspended solids i suppose if you looked at it if you lift the lid off and looked in the first chamber it would be like lots of little small jellyfish floating around right and to begin with, every time you have a new influx of water into here, everything floats around. But over time, you get quite a bit of this debris will settle on the bottom of your septic tank in the first chamber. And over time, it will build up. All right, all this debris will build up. Then at the top here, on top of the water, you'll get other bits of debris floating about fat, grease, sludge, poo, uh, condoms, sanitary towels, all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot going on, right, in the first chamber. Now, you're probably wondering what these funny things are here. Well, I should have put one, actually, on here as well. All right, now, these, right, are called T pieces. And basically, what they do is they stop, they let in all the debris, all the suspended solids, and they stop it going on any further. So let me explain what I mean. So the wastewater will fill up in the first chamber with all the debris and stuff. And then when it reaches this level here, this water, so when you get a relative displacement come in now, this will always stay at this level, right? It'll stay. So the tide mark is about there. So this water will always stay at that level, okay? So when you put more water in, it'll pour into here, and then it will overflow 
into the second chamber. All right, so then this chamber also will fill up with water, all right, to this level. So this is the tide mark in the second chamber. Now, because much of the debris is kept and held in the first chamber, some of the suspended solids will still come through from the first chamber into the second chamber, but there'll be a lot less of them, okay? So the particles will be smaller. M much of the stuff will float about in the tank. And again, a lot of the debris will fall in time, settle or fall to the bottom of the septic tank, but there'll be nowhere as much debris or waste in the second chamber as there were, was in the first chamber. So this, you can start to see how these two and three chamber septic tanks work. They're basically like a filtration system. They filter out all the particles, right? And clean the water. And um, I've never seen a four chamber septic tank. I see a lot of two chamber septic tanks and occasionally I do come across a three chamber septic tank. So if you've got a three chamber septic tank or a two, two chamber septic tank, don't ever change it. Don't ever change or replace your old septic tank for a new one unless it's, you know, collapsed or imploded or something because these are the best septic tanks ever made. All right, so once all the debris then entered the second chamber, Again, here's our tide mark. So you get another relative, uh, you get another influx of water coming in. Then you get a relative displacement. It'll leave here. It'll fill in there. And then from here, once again, it will fill up, okay, in the third chamber. And in the third chamber, you'll have even less debris, smaller particles, and again, the turbulence in the second and third chamber is nowhere near as great as the first one. And again, you will get some settlement on the bottom. So you get some silt there falling to the bottom of the tank. But you can see for, by the time it's left the first chamber, gone into the second and gone into the third, the wastewater in that chamber is a lot cleaner, right? So why does this matter? Why, why even bother? Why filter out? many of the suspended solids and the particles because if you look here the outlet from the first third chamber goes to a soak away now soak aways typically only have a lifespan of about 15 years why because right in modern tanks they don't have this filtration system so all the debris goes into the main tank, pretend this is one whole tank, and it then goes from there into the soakaway. And a soakaway basically is made up from lots of pipes with holes in, and the wastewater goes into those holes in the soakaway and then soaks away into the soil. But all the fat and the grease and the sludge, if it escapes and leaves the septic tank, will go into the soakaway and block your soakaway up. So just like when you eat lots and lots of unhealthy fatty food, it clogs your arteries up. This debris, this fat, this grease and the sludge clogs the arteries of your soak away up. So they devise this two and three chamber septic tank system, right, to extend the life of the soak away. And they work. They're fantastic. Now, <clears throat> many people, when they lift the lids of their septic tank, they see that the tide mark or the water line is quite near the surface. And they think, oh no, the septic tank's full up with water, let's get it empty. But that's, that's a misnomer, right? Septic tanks are always three quarters full of liquid. That's just how they're made, right? But you never ever get your septic tank empty because it's full up with water. The only reason you get your septic tank desludged or emptied once a year is because the buildup of the debris. So, oh, so imagine, this kind of debris field that you're seeing there, right, and the settlement that I'm showing you, let's pretend that's a month's worth of, 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 worth of debris that's gone through the tank, right? After six months, it will probably look like, well, not probably, it will look like that, right? So you can see that it's starting to rise, right? 
So that's typically what it would look like after six months. After 12 months, right, all the fat and the grease and the sludge and all the debris would probably reach at least, at least a quarter of the height of the tank. And so the more suspended solids in your tank, the more it builds up, the more debris that can come loose and block your soak away up. So it's quite important to get your septic tank desludged, right? At least every six months, at least every 12 months. People don't bother because it costs like two, 300 quid a time to get it sucked out. <clears throat> okay, but you know, if you consider that, with having to fork out five, six, seven grand to replace your soak away, paying out 200 quid just to maintain, you know, your septic tank and keep it healthy and keep the, extend the life of the soak away. It's, you know, relatively a small price to pay in comparison to having to fork out all that money to replace your septic tank. Now, one more thing I was going to say to you, with all this fat and the grease and the sludge in there, right, it will also... Um, oh yeah, when they come to empty the system, a lot of septic tank emptying people, they will only open or lift the lid of the third chamber. Why? Because it's mostly water and they can suck out that bit of sludge. If you're lucky, they will also open or lift the, 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 the lid of the second chamber and sec take, suck that sludge out. But I had a guy ringing me, um, ring me last week, and, and this is typical of everyone with a septic tank, right? With three chambers. 99% of septic tank emptying people will not empty the first tank because if you haven't had your tank emptied for like flaming hell, five years, 10 years or whatever, and, and it's full up or at least half full with sludge. Sludge, right, to septic tank emptying companies is a nightmare for them to suck out. It takes them five, six, seven times longer to suck your septic tank out than it would if it was just water because it's almost like a thick, thick milkshake. So they put their hose in, you put the hose in, they lift the lid, put the hose in here, right? So let's say there's the hose coming from the, uh, coming from the tank. It comes in and it goes into the sludge here, right? But because it's so gooey, because it's so thick, they have to flipping get a stick and mulch it up and stir it round and spray water in there. So they're still only getting 200 quid to suck the sludge out your septic tank, right? But it's taking them ribbing three or four hours instead of half an hour just to suck the water out. So that's a tip. If you've got a two or three chamber septic tank, make sure they empty the first tank first, right? The second one, second and the third one third most of them will probably complain and won't want to do it or they'll charge you if they've been three four five hundred quid to do it but it won't be full up with sludge if you get it emptied every six months so so there you go that's my septic tank tip for the day right if you've got a two or three chamber septic tank system keep it don't replace it right if you, you when you get your septic tank emptied make sure the septic tank emptying firm always empty from the first chamber then to the second and then the third so there you go now you know what a three chamber septic tank is you also know how a three chamber septic tank works so listen thank you very much for watching my live broadcast today you take care and if you want to see more of me then just go on to google and type in septic tank tv all right well listen you take care and i'll speak to you soon